Hi students, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to a feature. Or not a it's not a feature. It's actually a process. Most of the time when we are doing research, we require that. So how can it uh, how can it be done? I will show you that. Because most of the time when you are going through a research validation, if you want to validation, uh, if you want to validate your numerical model, most of the time you must uh, you must have to reproduce your journal graphs. So so that the af the graph from the ANSYS or any software, any numerical software, even though even if it is an open source software, your output from your analysis must be matched with the some other uh, analysis that is already done. Uh, maybe it's in an experimental way or an analytical way. So I'll show you a journal paper for example. So this is one of the journal. So suppose I want to reproduce this one, this uh, low diffraction curve, low deformation curve. So the problem is that. Uh, uh I want to take the graph exactly whatever the value for the, the value used for plotting this graph I want to reproduce that in Excel or uh, in some plotting software and uh, for validation purpose I want to compare this with uh, this graph with uh, uh, any numerical analysis software outputs so this must be uh, that the, the values must be taken back so I will show you the trick how to take this back so for this uh, there are a lot of softwares like xy extract uh, origin a lot of softwares are there for this example i am actually using origin it's actually a free version trial version which i downloaded from internet so if you go to origin site you can download this one and uh, uh, in order to do that first i will take a snipping tool a free software which is available in an, uh, in windows so with the help of snipping tool i'm going to take this graph and I'm going to save it as uh, pictures. I'm going to save it as a test graph. Okay, so that is done. Then this is the origin software. Now I'm going to open that graph. So this there is uh, one I icon in origin, digitize image. So if you open that, it will open. Uh, sorry, if you go to pictures, it will uh, you can see the graph which I created with the help of snipping tool, and select this graph, test graph, and open. So it will open inside the digitizer. So there you can see four lines, uh, uh, two horizontal lines and two vertical lines, which represents the the x-axis, y-axis, x minimum and y minimum, and uh, sorry, x min x maximum and x minimum, y minimum and y maximum. So in order to do that, I'm first selecting the x-axis, and I am. Uh, if you want, you can expand this graph, and uh, I will move this line, this vertical line, to zero position. Here in this graph, it is zero. So I know that this point is zero. So I'm going to give the value here. It is zero. And the second thing, the x maximum, or the second point, we can move it to here or you can pl place it 40 or 30 it's not an issue uh, no, for for this example I'm just putting it at uh, 50 and I'm changing this into 50 then the third one y starting or y minimum and I'm going to put this at 0 and this is 0 and next one y maximum same as the x-axis I'm going to put it in over the 50 line so 50 and one more thing <coughs> sometimes the softwares for example if you, if you take the case of Abacus or Ansys or Comsol they will give you the force in terms of Newton so here in the graph it is given as kilo Newton so sometimes if you digitize it there will be a transfer or a conversion will be required from Newton to kilo Newton or kilo Newton to Newton you can avoid by putting here it is 50,000 because you know that 50 kilo newton is equal to 50,000 newton so if you write if you put it ri directly like 50,000 you don't need to convert that into uh, that to match with the software output because uh, software output will be newton in most of the time so you can directly get in terms of newton if you plot the or if you digitize the image uh, for this example I'm just keeping it as for 50 and then you can see a lot of icons here these icons are for helping us and you can also put if the graph is not linear you can put log logarithmic graph whatever you require 
uh, if your graph is logarithmic you must change this linear into logarithmic otherwise you, you don't get the correct uh, the the, uh, the coordinates of the the x and y axis and this is the trick just click the manually pick points uh, there are a lot of other options auto track the trace lines by points a uh, lot of points are there we are not going to discuss that just click on this manually pick points and whatever be the graph there is actually a zoom window is there so if you go to here 0 0 approximately equal to 0 0 click there and click the next point just double click it whatever the line you want to follow just double click it and follow that line that's it so I just created all those points uh, uh, not all those points whatever the points and important points I need and if I finished with my recordings or the putting my points just click the done button and if you click here that is go to data so you can see boom this is the data so basically you know that at the 36 uh, there will be a confusion between this one but we know that x-axis what is x-axis it is actually displacement so I'm going to put displacement uh, spelling I think doctor said the units is millimeter and this is load and the unit is kilonewton kilonewton and if you want to add some functions you can add it and uh, if you want to check with the data and before going into the data you must ensure that the first point is zero zero so unfo unfortunately it's just a slightly moved from that side so that's why small uh, values are there Sh you can click on this zero zero and if you go to plot and I'm going to de uh, close this digitize option one second and if you go to plot you can see a lot of plottings are there I'm going to select this lines plus simple and I can pick which way axis is x-axis because here you can see a x so a I'm going to pick it as x-axis and the b load I'm going to pick it as y-axis and if I put ok you can see the graph so this is the graph and if you compare with that uh, digitize image you can see it's almost equal the only thing that the x-axis and you can change with the help of uh, double clicking the axis you can change it you can see the scale option and from <coughs> you can start it from zero or vertical also vertical and horizontal you can start it from zero so this is it so it's almost equal to on this axis is 50 actually So maximum is 50 for both the horizontal and vertical okay so now it is correct this is almost equal to my graph this red line that is beam 5.12 it is almost equal to that and you will also get these values from the from the graph these are the values and you can take it from here and Wait. and if you want you can put it on a excel and you can compare it with uh, the any other software's graph and how you can calculate how much variation is there all those things you can calculate so so you can put it here and you can take the mm, graph from that is these things from origin and if you want you can plot a graph and you can keep it as uh, a journal journal and this area the same thing you can copy it here and you can make it numerical model result or something else and you can compare it with the, the help of the graph 
uh, if you go to insert you can uh, you can put the comparison graph between these two and that's it so this is how we can earn oh, one more thing I forgot to mention because you can again redigitize it uh, suppose you want one more graph from this suppose I want a blue line from here you can again go to digitizer just click this digitizer and you don't need to give all those things because it's already set and here is one more option new line if you click on the new line the previous line will go off uh, it's actually data is there you can see the number of points everything is there and uh, if you go to the marker you can again pick a new line suppose I want the blue line this is beam 5.1.9 okay done and if you go to graph or data you can see it's there the first point it is zero zero and if you select all those things and you can copy it here and if you select all these points and if you go to plot line plus symbol it, it will automatically plot both the graphs so that's it that's how we can do we can do uh, we can take data from these types of graphs uh, sorry graphs <laughs> not graphs graphs and uh, uh, to digitize it and how to take the points coordinate points all these things this is actually most of the time useful for uh, researches uh, because most of the time for validation this is essential and there are other softwares like xy extract a lot of other softwares are there to pick this one this is a trick thank you bye